Okay, so I had a question uh, regarding um, somebody that understands that weights and strength training is uh, the optimal way uh, to lose fat. And with that being said, um, somebody who wants to still be conditioned in a cardiovascular sense, um, but not just do weights, how to, how to still get cardiovascular training um, and not just be on a strength training program and not really have them conflict because that's the biggest challenge with cardio is uh, not stepping on the toes of your strength training, assuming strength training is your priority. So how do you involve cardio and keep yourself at a good level of conditioning um, without stepping on the toes of your strength training um, and stopping potential fat loss? So the first thing I would say is, um, number one, I, I can't really give you a straight answer because it's gonna be different for every person. So. The first thing you want to say is, okay, I want to be uh, be in the condition that I can do cardiovascular activity and not feel like I'm going to die. So with that being said, I would say, okay, um, wh what does that mean to you? How much cardio capability do you need to have? Do you need to be able to, um, to kill it for 20 minutes, five minutes, two hours? Uh, I mean, obviously, if you're running marathon races, you should be conditioned for multiple hours. If you like to do 5Ks, uh, you should be able to be conditioned for 20 to 30 minutes. So with that being said, number one is what are you looking to be conditioned for? Um, if it's general, if it's not much, just that you don't die walking up a flight of stairs, then it could be that fast-paced circuit training with weights would be enough to have you be conditioned to your to your level um, the first step after that might be doing intervals doing sprint intervals maybe you do uh, 30 second sprints and with short breaks and those allow you to be conditioned to your level um, maybe your ideal conditioning level is to be able to jog for 20 minutes um, so really to put a, a, um, a definition on what amount of cardio you do I can't really do that but what I'll say is decide what you want, how conditioned you want to be, what activities you want to perform, and go from there. Um, so base your cardio training on what you want to do and go from there. And then it's your job to prevent tissue breakdown of your strength training by being on the right strength program and taking in the right nutrition. That's the key with cardio is that it needs to be, have an even balance with your diet. So if your cardio is increasing and you don't want to step on the toes of your lean gains or lean losses, depending on how much cardio you're doing, you need to facilitate proper diet um, with that cardio. So long story short, decide what exactly you want from your level of conditioning, how much time period, and then program your cardiovascular training around that. And that will be a good goal, and that's different for everybody. It doesn't matter. My goals are different than yours. Somebody might want to run two hours. Somebody might want to just be able to jog down the street. So there you have it. Enjoy the day.